Hello, Palpation Nation. Welcome to the vlog. Today is going to be just a Calvet and his GoPro 3. Uh, I have nothing but pathology to do today, so I thought I would take you on a little ride down pathology lane. I don't even know how many deads I have right now. Uh, it looks like it's about four or five, so we should see some good pathology. And that's it. That's the whole vlog. Just me, my GoPro, and you and cows, and Phineas. Ready? Great interlobular edema, usually indicative of heart failure. So I'm gonna guess this guy has a myocarditis. Oh, beautiful myocarditis. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that chronic myocardial lesions. Beautiful. Okay, so his feedlot diagnosis is, is myocarditis. Got them all cut up here. I'll show you this guy. Uh, I wish I had my GoPro on me when I cut into him, but it'll still be pretty spectacular. Some tons of pleural effusion. Look at all those clots of fibrin. I think that might be a chunk lung. Oh yeah. So a severe chronic pneumonia with a pleuritis, all that pleural effusion. That's probably a mixed infection there. There could be some histophilus, some mycoplasma, some manheimia, some pasturella. Be impossible to tell what's going on in old bacteria. Whoa, old bacterial soup. Yeah, those lungs are. Beautiful that is. There's areas of fibrosis, caseous necrosis. You can see the microabscesses in there too. So certainly a mycoplasma component. Uh, pleuritis is usually due to histophilus somni, so that's why I think it's a mixed infection. Think how would he have even lived? It's 
see if they can find the heart. So overall the heart looks pretty normal. Certainly a ton of fibrin around the pericardial sac. Oh my goodness, technical air city. Okay, so this is the thing that I had the GoPro on. This is like my little gimbal. It keeps the image nice and stabilized. I swear I charged it, but it appears as if the battery got too cold. Not gonna fault it. It's pretty cold outside. Maybe I didn't charge it all the way. Okay, so I showed you guys the pleuritis. You guys are in luck with pathology today. Spectacular pathology. So this guy had these lungs that we talked about. With all of this intralobular edema. There's also petechia and ecchymosis. Uh, all of the pinpoint hemorrhages that you see there. So that always tells me there might be something going on in the heart. When we open it up right here, we have a spectacular vegetative valvular endocarditis. I saved it for you guys. Cut it open. And a beautiful myocardial infarct. So it likely started as a myocardial infarct. And then that bacteria started escaping into the endothelium, into the endocardium, and caused this vegetative valvular endocarditis. So myocarditis number two. But wait, there's more. Okay, so then the next guy, uh, this guy here, this is his lungs, and his lungs are very heavy and wet. And you can see here on this one really well, this interstitial pattern of affected lobules and then non-affected lobules and then affected lobules, and that pattern continues. So this is a classic interstitial pneumonia. Uh, when you feel it, it feels like a bag full of ice cubes. All those affected areas are much more firm and consolidated and these are very aerated. And it has this ice cube effect, this bag full of ice cubes. Spectacular. So acute interstitial pneumonia on him. And then this guy. Oh, I still haven't... I left this one for you. So this is how I opened up his chest. And he had all of these huge clots within his thorax. So he had a huge hemothorax. Now, usually when I have a hemothorax that is this advanced, I start to think about rupture of the pulmonary vasculature coming off of the heart. So I can see the pericardium is torn open. There's certainly blood in that pericardium. So I'm gonna dissect it away and see if I can find a rupture of the pulmonary vasculature. Okay, just wait. fighting a rupture yet there's a great visualization of the tricuspid valve so you can see one two three tricuspids beautiful Ooh, so this is the exact lesion I'm looking for this is on the vena cava so this is the endothelium of the vena cava and here you see all of this endothelial hemorrhagic. That's usually what I see when I when I look at the pulmonary vasculature. This is the exact lesion that I'm looking for. And you can see right here is the area where it ripped open. And I think that's where all the hemorrhage was coming from. Okay, I'm all done the pathology. That was such a good pathology lesson. I loved it so much. Okay, that concludes a Calvet and his GoPro 3. <laughs>
I would go as low as possible. But you can see the amount of blood that was there. This is almost something more thick. And it just wasn't getting good penetration there. So that's why I'm going to go a little bit on the side. It's just there's, there's so many big vessels coming up through here. Like this carotid artery is running basically right here. It's got a facial vein that might be what's pushing there. So there's just tons of scary elements. Yeah. Vessels close there. Uh, I could easily nick one. It wasn't spraying out like if it hit an artery, it would be yeah, shooting. There's just so much vascular through there. Should notice his breathing improved dramatically in a couple seconds. So, um, he's going to have the lidocaine withdrawal, so you might as well keep him in hospital, flush him tomorrow, flush him the next day, and if it's coming out clean, no problem. Then he can go on. An abscess! Okay, you guys, sorry I didn't like preface that case, but I was just going to go look at it because they wanted to know if they could rail the animal. He had been treated for diphtheria or an infection of his larynx. And on initial exam, I said, that's no diphtheria. I think that's an abscess. So we ran him in. Uh, I. I started rolling and diagnosed an abscess and flushed it. So Calvet and his GoPro 3 has now turned into Calvet and his GoPro 3 plus abscess day. My best videos on YouTube by far and away are the GoPro videos where I'm in the PM pit and also the abscess videos. So what do you get when you mash them together, when they get married, when you have a holy union? No, that's not the right word. When you have a chimera, a hermaphrodite of sorts of abscesses and GoPros in the postmortem pit, you get this video. Love it, you guys. Thank you so much. Please like, please subscribe, leave a comment below. Thank you so much. And remember, 
Sharp knife, sharp life. That's so stupid. I hate it so much. <sighs> and that's the day. What do, you, what do you got on you? This and armor. What are you fighting? Nothing. I'm just... Did you make the armor yourself? Uh-huh. Do you think if I hit you with a sword, it would protect you? What if I shot you with an arrow? Well, with a bullet gun, that would be fine. With a bullet? Mm-hmm. With a bullet. <laughs> Stay out of my gas hole. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>